yourself. Determination with that one. Knowledge yourself. Determination. Yeah, just showing you all my Black Star shirt before we get into it here. Yeah, man. So, folks, this is me and Taikisi. We're back with another one here. Um, now, on this one here, we're going to be doing the comparison review <sighs> again. And um, it's going to be intertwined with, yes, that's right, the GD 6.0s, the Travis Scott's Air Jordan 1s. Yes, Coco sneakers finally came in, folks. And I am ready to review it for y'all. And I'm going to give you 100% truth. No facts. Oh, excuse me. No fakes. No fake facts. Yeah, nah, nah, ain't no point to lie on this channel. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. As I sit here contemplating on how I'm gonna do this video because of the pure frustration, I realized that this is for you, the people. The people. And this is why I'm doing this review. Because truth be told, as I've talked to many people on Instagram about this already. I was like, man, I do not want to do this damn review. But you out there have a right to know the truth. So you don't spend money and get caught off guard with time wasted and money wasted for that matter. So let's begin. What you're going to see here first is the Air Jordan Travis Scott GD 5.0s. We can tell the difference because it has pink laces in it. And then next is Kicks for Days version. Now we know the difference on that because one, well, it's Kicks for Days. Two, it's 10 and a half. So my, my big feet can't fit these anyway. So, and then finally, the coup de gras, the meat and potatoes of this review. Yes, folks, it is finally here. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Coco GD 6.0s. Now, as I look at it in the camera, and I'm talking to you all about it now, I rub it thusly, hoping there's life, searching for new movement in the suede since it's a 6.0 and alas folks as you can see unfortunately even the camera's like man i don't want to cover this bullshit come on camera stop now we've got to get to work now stop these people ask us to review a camera we got to show them the truth the camera like what the fuck for like <laughs> like they still don't got it right like okay now look 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 there's some movement there's some movement there, right? So that's what's up. So between the two, let's go and put this on top of the kicks for days right quick and then look at this right here. So between the two of them, okay, this is the 5.0. Like, ah, damn, nothing, right? Barely any movement in the suede, barely any movement. Movement, movement to be fair, but barely any movement, okay? And then 6.0 is supposed to be like this. <laughs> you see how visible that is, folks? You see that? Mm -hmm. This is kicks for days. Look at that. Look at the visibility. Look at look at how that sway moves like that. Hell, it, it, look at the damn Cactus Jack insignia. It, it, <sighs> there's, there's a total difference of feeling of the material of suede that you would see or uh, that you can see in this, in this, um, come on camera. I'll tell you the camera's like, man, I just, I just don't got time for it. This shit is stupid. Like I get it camera, I get it. Look, I agree with you camera, as if you're a human being or some shit, but look, we got to focus literally and let's get it together now. I'm still on kicks for days right here. I just, I just like feeling his, you know, the, the shoe they created. So yeah, let's put this down cause I can't wear it anyway. It's not even my damn size. <sighs> let's go back to this one, the 6.0. Some movement, but not as good as Kicks for Days. And you know the sad part is, folks, I've been messing with Coco since May. And the 3.0s were like these. 
but just like these, I couldn't fit them. And that's why them junks is gone. Now I get it, y'all like, look, man, the suede is not that important. Look at the construction. Look at this, look at that. Okay, let's look at it. Let's, let's look at the construction. Let's look at the uh, tumble leather on a quarter panel. Let's look at the tumble leather, which for the most part, this is not really a stiff leather. It's, it's pretty soft for the most part. Let's look at the toe box. And yes, I do have the shoe on in there. I'm not removing it. Got the toe, the, uh, toe box there, not toe box, but the mud guard. So that's what's up. We got your medium or uh, sail midsole, the outsole brown, of course, as usual. The stars are good, you know, good durability. We got the cactus jack, you know, uh, stitching a little bit closer. This is about the norm. Um, if you were trying to compare it to the domestic release, because this, of course, all three of them are international shoes. You got your cactus jack there. I mean, you got the hourglass, so that's what's up. You got your tag with the code on the bottom, so that's cool. Uh, you got one of them that says cactus jack. The other one says Nike Air, so that's what's up. You got your... Uh, your stash pocket. So that's what's up. So, oh, and it even has, you know, as you can see. So you got the stitch and everything right. So there's nothing wrong with the schematics of the shoe itself. So if you folks don't care about the suede like I do, then go by, by all means, go nuts. Go buy the GD 6.0, it's available for you to purchase. And then that's that. But if you care about the suede and you want some type of distinction, of material with the suede, then you're gonna, you're not gonna be feeling these because there's other suppliers out there that has gotten the suede right. Now, to say that the 6.0 is not an improvement from the 5.0 would be me lying. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, there is some suede movement in this, but not much. Not compared to Kicks for Days. I mean, y'all see it. Y'all see it. I mean, y'all y'all see what it is. I mean, you can't you can't lie about quality, you know. Y'all see what it is. Oh, man, damn. Like I said, yep, side bro. <laughs> you can't wear this anyway. Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, Coco, GD, 6.0s. Another disappointment, folks. Sorry to be the one to tell you, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. Y'all need to know the truth. Go ahead and start looking for the supplies, seeing if you can get somewhere close to this type of material, or even go to Kicks for Days and get this material. Yeah, look at, the, look at this, okay, before I go, look at the swoosh. Even the swoosh material looks different. It feels softer than it, I mean, you see that? Y'all see that right there? But look how the oh, man. if there was only like magic if magic exists in the world and then I could just like wave a wand and then I can make these like 1.5 size bigger and then I won't I'm good I won't have to buy no other pairs I won't have to add worry about oh, my God. even on here like I'm just I'm just playing around with the suede I'm not even moving my finger really and it look at the movement And uh, I'm finished. Eh? Hmm? I told y'all. Ain't no point to lie. Like, why Why would I? Like, I, I've been waiting for these for, <laughs> like, almost 45 days. Um, actually, longer if you count when they actually released the 6.0s and show pictures on them on Instagram. Now, I should have known that there was going to be some issues when they went on Instagram and showed the actual suede material and so many people roasted them, it wasn't even funny. Some of them were straight honest, like I'm about to be. What the fuck were y'all thinking? Where was the material tester at? Were they off that week or did they not, did the glasses not fit properly and they, they just took the glasses off and they couldn't see nothing as far as, like anybody who's anybody can look at Kicks for Days material and then 5.0 and 6.0 material and tell that there's something Seriously wrong with the suede there. So, yeah, plan is folks will go ahead and just get a Kicks for Days pair of Scott's 
size 12 and um, that's gonna be it and that's gonna be the end of it I'm not getting no more after kicks for days pair honestly like within a year I have brought three count them three pairs and then his pair will be the fourth pair and that will be the final damn pair and that's not counting um, the pair that I got for my son so actually when you look at it that's five pair of Travis Scott's that I actually went through I'm done so I hope you all enjoyed this comparison review as this probably more than likely will be the last um, thanks for coming by uh, <laughs> please make sure to like and share if you have not already um, subscribers hate out naturally come we're not stressing that right now it's just about the love of the shoe from me to you or the hate of the shoe for me to you hey because sometimes we got to keep it real so that you guys the consumers out there and ladies of course respectfully do not get hit with the okie doke okay damn yeah that's a damn shame <laughs> one out of three coco sneakers and the only reason i didn't keep my 3.0s is because they were too tight on feet Folks, please remember, if you don't remember anything else on this review, remember this. Don't get half sizes unless they're Yeezys. If they're Yeezys, you're good to go. But if they're not, your feet about to be real cramped on those international jumps. And try sending them back if you would. Please, as a matter of fact, stop this video and go do your research and find out what the cost is. And just put it in the comments or hit me up on Instagram right above my head. Please. I want to hear what y'all think. Find out what the cost is to send, send, pair, send back one pair of shoes as you're not a business or LLC. Just just find out for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny as heck, boy. Y'all about to be mad then a month. <laughs> just send back one pair of shoes. Damn.